G'day. 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 First up, I am not reading this from a script. If you happen to like my video, please take the time to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So my first garden idea is using an old motorcycle mudguard as a succulent garden. Looks pretty effective, don't you think? And then there's open faced helmets. They make really cool pots. Just drill a few drainage holes in the top of it and hang them upside down. They also make really cool light shades. For the most spectacular thing in your garden, find an old wrecked bike. In this case, it's a 1980 Yamaha AG 175 with a broken frame and a seized engine. Just sit in the garden for a couple of years, plant a ground cover or climb on near it, and sit back and wait. You can turn the headlight upside down, which makes a great planter for a cactus. And I'll put this special effect in, just because I thought it was really cool. Um, the fairy lights weren't my idea, they were my wife's idea, and I've got to say, I weren't keen on them to start with, but they're actually pretty effective. Then if you have a courtyard, an old metal bodywork scooter. Like, you know, it's got to be metal like a Vespa or a Lambretta or something so you get that rust effect. But it looks pretty cool. Paint your bar fridge black. Stick a few stickers on it. Get an old motorcycle petrol tank. Cut a hole in the top. Plant some plants in it. The on the cell style motorcycle headlights make really awesome lampshades. Get some old bike parts, stick them on a board. And don't forget your toilet. I mean, everyone's got to go to the toilet. There's plenty of opportunities in there for a bit of biker style. Get any old motorcycle trophies you've got sitting around or anyone else has got sitting around they don't use. Paint them up, stick them in the garden, they look great. And then there's these weather vanes you can get off eBay. They're only small, so I probably wouldn't put them on the roof of my house, but stick them on a fence post or on a little garden shed. They look friggin' awesome. And here's just a couple of old mailboxes that I found on my travels, made from old farm implements. They look pretty cool. And finally, this old Bert Munro's idea. Get a piston, chop it in half, and you got yourself a pretty friggin' awesome ashtray.